Hello, my name is Nixo Tiriadis. I'm a 3D model from Greece. This is my first video tutorial in which I'm going to be teaching you how to create this scooter. This is the Honda PCX scooter. I'm going to be teaching you every step along the way, which includes creating the blueprints out of photographs, aligning them to the 3D modeling program, modeling the scooter and rendering it. The programs I will be using for this process is Photoshop in order to create the blueprints. And as the 3D modeling program, I'm using the Rhinoceros 3D. Uh, this tool is intended for intermediate users. So I suggest that the beginners should visit my site at www.nixotriatis.gr in which I have some excellent tutorials for beginners so that you can learn the basics of Rhinoceros 3D. So let's begin. The first step is to collect as much reference as you can. I've downloaded many photographs from the internet and I've taken many of my own because I'm a happy owner of such a scooter. You need to have information about every little thing on this model before you even consider to start modeling it. So the main thing to create our blueprints is that we have we need photographs from the side view, the front view, the rear view and the top view, which I've taken from a balcony. So you open Photoshop, you create one big empty file and you just put every view of the scooter in this file. I have to state at this point that the main view I will be using for the modeling process is the side view, and the others are just there to help me with dimensions. I know that since these were taken with a normal camera lens and are not orthogonal views, I know that the blueprints will not align properly, will not align 100%, and this is expected, you should know. So what I did here was using the side view, I used some Photoshop rulers in order to align the side view with the top view. And I tried to match as many key points on the scooter as I can in these top views. So I used the front fender, the start of the seat, the end of the seat, and the end of the bike. Here you can see I I've installed an extra part on my scooter because of my hard top case, but I assume that this is where the scooter ends. So as you can see, these key points are aligned properly. Let's see the headlight. The headlight doesn't, but it doesn't. It's not very important at this point. So if we're not happy with the way the blueprints are aligned, Using Control T, I have these in separate layers. You can transform them so that you can align them in the best way that you can. So, using the same technique, I aligned the front and rear views. As you can see, in the front view, the headlight is aligned where the headlight and is aligned. I don't really care about the windshield, it's very easy to model anyway. And the same goes for the rear view, which is the wing is aligned, the rear light is aligned, here the blink gears are aligned, the fender is aligned, so I guess I'm good to go and cut our new blueprints. Let's create a couple of rulers that will help us cut. Now, I'm flattening this image using flatten image, and now using the rulers, I will be cutting all views. Control C, File, New, 
control V to paste it and control Alt Shift and S to save this as a side view blueprint. I'm going to be doing the same for the other views as well. I have to point here, point out that you are cutting where the rulers are and it doesn't really matter that it has blank spaces in the beginning or the end as long as everything else is aligned as you can see here I have some white space it doesn't really matter top view rear view The next step is go to our 3D program. I'm using Rhinoceros 5 Beta. I've slightly changed the interface so that it matches my needs. And what we need to do here is add our blueprints. So using background bitmap and place. First, I'll add the side view. You need to make it big enough so that the grid space is helping the modeling process. So, the reason I'm putting the side blueprint in the front view and not in the right view is because uh, if I put it in the right view, I would have to have the top view blueprint in vertical position and not in horizontal like this. It, it would have to be something like this. But I prefer to work with the top view being horizontal. So, when you create a cube that has the same dimensions as your side blueprint, doesn't matter how deep it is, because its only purpose is to add the blueprints. So, let's place the top view. We'll start from the beginning of the cube and end it to the end. So for symmetry purposes only, we're going to be moving this from its middle point and using the ortho, ortho snap to the beginning of the axis so that during the modeling process we have symmetry. Let's do the same for the front view as well. We will be ending this right here. And again, let's move it from its center using the ortho snap to the side. Now, this cube is not needed anymore. So we have aligned blueprints. Saving this file. PCX1. Remember to save often. I'm saving quite often and in different files so that I don't lose my previous work by accident. And this concludes the first part of this tutorial.